Good day everybody. Today is October the 16th and uh, my name is Sandra Alexei Morin. I'm co-author of Game Changer and uh, Michael is the other author, Michael Hellyer, and he has gone on with a new focus and new goals in his life. So I'm going to be continuing with the synopsis of Game Changer. Now Game Changer is all about a new model of relationship because of the high divorce rate, all of the challenges with blended families, parent alienation, okay? And today we're going to look at chapter eight, which is relationship challenges, okay? This is really good because Game Changer itself has a lot of to do with self-discovery. And you can go back and you can look at the different chapters and it'll give you a synopsis today. Like I say, it's chapter eight, relationship challenges. So it's even good for somebody that's not just looking for a relationship, but that is in a relationship. And maybe the it's getting kind of boring or you're not quite sure what's going on. And so this will assist you in looking at different things. Always remember the biggest investment you will ever make in your life is your relationship. It will make you or break you financially, spiritually, intellectually, emotionally, okay? And so that's why we say how to love with your head instead of your heart. We have to use the heart, but we work with emotion. And so it's finding the balance with the brain and the heart. Because what you really want to do is have a long-term monogamous relationship, if that's what you desire, okay? So the first thing is, I'm just going to quote something here, is before you assume, learn the facts. That's the logic. Before you judge, understand why. Before you hurt someone, feel. And before you speak, think, Okay rather than react, respond, okay? So now at this point, you have found the relationship or in the relationship, okay? But we have challenges. Some of the challenges can be, and I'm gonna go through those challenges because I think they're really important, is controlling or possessive behavior, okay? And so, that's the whole thing when you're in a codependent relationship. Usually somebody is dependent on the other person financially. So the person that has the strong finances, what was the saying? I heard somebody say, those that have the gold hold the power. Okay. And so you can't be possessed. Okay. A relationship is about being free to be yourself. And if you don't want to be in the relationship, then you shouldn't be. You shouldn't have got into the relationship, okay? And you shouldn't try and control somebody, okay? You want the relationship to flow, okay? You don't want drama and stress all the time. Another big thing, and this is a big one for me, I call them manipulative energy vampires, or I refer to them as one's a parasite and one's the host. So the parasite will take energy from the host, energy, your physical energy, financial energy, emotional energy, okay? And so you want to, if you start feeling that your spirit's going down or something's happening in a relationship, 2019 is all about being authentic, being transparent, speaking your truth. You don't have to scream at somebody. But sit down and talk to them because nobody should be an energy vampire. The next one is boundaries. We all should have personal boundaries, okay? If you don't have a personal boundary and you're somebody that's a caretaker and you're always doing for somebody, you're going to end up resenting it and you're going to be tired, okay? The next one is jealousy. So if there is jealousy... There's no trust. And if there is no trust, what do you have left? However, if you sense that there's something going on, okay, 
and you are jealous, you need to speak to your partner about it. If they get defensive, you need to deal with that. The next one is the extended family. When the other person's family, I was just doing a reading for somebody because I do astrology and numerology, business coaching, uh, spiritual consulting, coaching, is that it's a marriage that's been very good for years. And I was shocked when I did the reading to hear that um, the one partner's family was very emotionally abusive to the other person. And that person stayed and stayed for a lot of years and just woke up one day and said, I'm done. I can't, I can't do this anymore. So I love you, but I won't put up with how the extended family is controlling and always trying to get in. So something to think about finances. Okay. So if, the big thing nowadays is what's really interesting is people always say um, sex is the challenge in relationships. If you really do your research and everything, the first challenge is finances, the second is space, and the third is sex. So today we're going to talk about the finances, okay? And um, I'm not picking on females, but I know a lot of young men that go out to work and their wives are at home and they get bored, they have a baby at home or whatever, and they do a lot of online shopping, okay? And I guess I just don't understand that because what do they need the clothes for? And what, what do they need? So it's like hungry eyes I always need. So you wanna make sure that you and your partner are kind of on the same page. And if you're finding something, it can be the same for the man that he's out maybe doing some gambling or doing different things, I don't know. But you need to sit down and it's not about confrontation, it's about looking at something, really identifying it. There's a saying, you see a person for who they really are and see a situation for what it really is, as opposed to how you think that this person should be or hope it is or the situation is. So it's looking at the reality, identifying it if there's a challenge. Space. Some people like to have lots of space. Some people just need a little space. Some people are really neat. Other people have everything all over. That needs to be dealt with from a feng shui point of view. Okay. A cluttered place is a cluttered mind. Okay. And so it's really hard if somebody doesn't pick up after themselves or put their stuff in the right places. Basic stuff. Time. This is very interesting because everybody's always saying, I used to teach time management years ago, is I never have enough time. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. Well, that's the one thing we all have that's equal. There is 24 hours in a day. So it's how you manage your time. Okay, and how you spend your time. It's like you are an energy being. What are you doing with your time? Okay. Uh, emotional challenges. One person maybe needs drama because they need a lot of excitement because they're kind of bored. So they're all grease creating chaos and the other person is just flowing. They go to work. They do their thing. Everything's all right. Could be a challenge. Any addictions, big challenges. And there's not just, as soon as you hear addictions, it's like drugs or liquor, you know, there's eating addictions, there's smoking addictions, there's sexual addictions. There's many kind of addictions, anything that's out of balance, okay? And there can be mental challenges that you really need to look at if there's something in the family background, if you plan on having children. Okay, and so what you do want to do is you want to have physical fitness and then you want to have spiritual fitness and balance it. So it's about mind, body, and spirit, balance, and fitness. Another big one is communication. Another one is boredom. Have you heard, well, he bores me. 
or she bores me. It's like, okay, let's have a look at what this boredom sex, different sex levels, debilitating sickness. If you have handicapped children, blended families, and what it really does, it gives you a strategy for all of these different challenges. So every kind of challenge that has been identified, there is a strategy for resolution. Okay. And so to further investigate some of the general tendencies in relationship challenges, We've provided some extra food for thought below. And so there we have just some extra notes and you can add to it yourself. Okay. And I think that's a big one. And so better people make better partners and better parents. So here you will not find deadbeat dads. Or run away mums. And so I hope this has kind of given you a, a taste of what chapter eight is about. And you can get a uh, game changer on Amazon. You can get it from Friesen Press. You can look on the YouTube. It tells you where to get it. It's available in audio now. And I do hope that you enjoy this. And I thank you for watching it. I truly appreciate it. And think about subscribing and share it with some of your friends. And have yourself a wonderful day. And next week we will do chapter 9. Take care.